you know, I'm sure you'd agree that, uh, you know, advances in cancer research have been making uh, uh, that uh, we've been seeing these past uh, couple of years has been uh, fairly, you know, crazy to, for lack of a better word. I mean, um, alongside the Atavalon uh, approach by targeting the uh, P53 protein, and there's uh, news from UK research who, researchers who are, um, you know, uh, trying to create a cancer vaccine customized to the patient, uh, new cancer immunotherapy injections. I remember Vice doing a profile not uh, too long ago about uh, U.S. researchers trying to re-engineer viruses to attack cancers. Um, you know, from your perspective, when you're talking with your colleagues in the space, what do you think is the future of fighting cancer? You know, do you, uh, do you think we could see the end of most uh, cancer deaths in our lifetimes? Oh, yeah. So it's going to be cell therapy, immunotherapy, uh, what we're doing. The, this is what's going to end up uh, uh, curing cancer and eradicating it. Uh, well, actually, just keeping it under control because we mm -hmm. just need to live with it harmoniously, right? Because we're not going to, uh, cancer is not something that you eradicate like polio. Right. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a similar to, thing at all. Um, but the way we've been treating it up till now, we're essentially just poisoning the cancer and poisoning the human being with chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. uh, it is it is, it is it is so rudimentary uh, when you are talking about how how we try and treat other diseases and how we will be over the next ten or twenty years treating diseases no longer by just trying to kill them like antibiotics and chemotherapy drugs, but working with them and working with the natural ability of the body to fight off or live symbiotically with some of these other organisms. I mean, uh, if most people probably aren't aware of the microbiome yet like you are in certain parts of the country everyone knows about it and then parts mm -hmm. of the country and parts of the world people have never heard of it so it's just a uh, something that hasn't hasn't quite reached the educational distribution yet well, i guess but it depends on who really likes their uh you know probiotic yogurts and <laughs> all that good stuff well i mean it really comes down to this is that the the body we are 50 percent uh, bacteria, fungi, and viruses. 50% mm -hmm. human cells. I mean, it's about one to 1.3 ratio. We are literally 50% bacterial and, and other cells. And we haven't been taking this into account in medicine. So we will start to see this being taken into account in things like cancer right? Alzheimer's, all of these big diseases that we could potentially thought were genetic could in fact turn out to be infectious through the microbiome. So that's another big area that we're going to be seeing cell therapy, like an immunotherapy, but also microbiome therapy.